Okay, dears, here we go. This week we have been talking about, like, uh, a lot of things. But in general, and as you know, we have been talking about food, right? But these days I have told you something about food, that we are using this as a context as usual, but that this is going to be really useful to talk about what? Do you remember the topic that we are going to be working with today? What did I tell you? Who remember? Um, uncountable and uncountable. That's it. Countable and uncountable nouns. Today we are going to be talking about it. I know that you have been working with this, like a lot of times you have been working with this possibly since you were in third grade. But today we are going to reinforce it. We are going to um, talk a bit more about it. And also, we are going to learn some new things that are related to countable and uncountable now. But first of all, we are going to activate your previous knowledge, okay? What is a countable noun? Who can tell me? What is that? When do I use it? Countable. What is a countable noun, babies? Contable. Contable, so something that you can count. And on the opposite, what is an uncountable noun? Incontable. No contable. So that means that that is something that you can't count. Perfect. So guys, pay attention to this. Countable and uncountable nouns. Cosas que podemos y que no podemos contar. As I really want to uh, activate your previous knowledge, we are going to begin today's class with an activity. And this activity is going to be play in Kahoot. Okay? So please set your devices and so on. I am going to share with you the screen. And this is the pin. So I need you to access to this game. I am going to send you the pin through the chat just in case. And please access there with your, with your normal real name. Thank you. So that's the pin. I'll be waiting for you in Kahoot. Go ahead. Go ahead, babies, access. I have just five of you, six, seven. You are 14, so go ahead, access. Who is missing, guys? There are three people missing. I'll be waiting maybe 30 seconds and then we are going to begin. Okay, just let me confirm who is who is missing. Let me check. I am checking if all of you are here. Mm -hmm. Hero, I can see you. Where are you, Hero? Oh, you are Jerome. You are Jerome, okay. So, Isabella, yes. Jerónimo, Jerónimo, okay, there you are. Juan Camilo, yes. Mariana. Mariana, there you are. Mateo, yes. Michelle, yes. Samuel, yes. Let me check because I need you all to participate. Sara. So, Sofia Vanegas, you are Sofia, right? Yes or no? Or Sofia Urjuela. Ah, okay, yeah. And Sofia Urjuela, where are you? Sofia Urjuela? 
and Thomas, there you are. Bueno, so let's do it then. Maybe there is no one missing. Okay, guys, this activity is super, super, super easy. You are just going to check the name of some things and you are going to select if those things are countable or uncountable. So here we go. Go ahead, dears. What do you think? Oil. Very good. So for the two who answer uh, countable, no babies. Oil is uncountable. Here is a tip for you. All of the things that are uh, in the liquid state are uncountable. You may count, for example, bottles of oil, but oil, like the substance, is uncountable. Let's continue. Okay, well, we have five people that said countable and uncountable, specifically is uncountable. What is the meaning of sunshine, guys? What is the meaning of this word? Brillo solar? Mm, yeah, it's like the, como los rayos del sol. So it is not possible to count sunshine. It is not possible to count it because it is not possible to count, for example, light. So, sunshine uncountable. Let's continue. Oh my God, okay. In this case, babies, rice is uncountable. But why? Why is rice uncountable? What do you think? Why is that, that uncountable? No, si es contable, se puede contar el grano por grano. Not really. <laughs> but let's, let's think no, about no, no, sí, English, English, he English, <laughs> English, English. We can, we can, I can give you the reason why it is uncountable. Uncountable. In this case, guys, it is uncountable because you don't have a plural form for rice. How can you say, I mean, if you say arroces, that's, that's wrong, babies. And especially in English, you don't have a plural form. Here is another tip for you. Things without plural form are uncountable, okay? But what happens specifically with rice? You may take like the time of one rise and so on, but you don't have a plural form. And also, what happens if you have a super huge plantation of rice? Si te toca ir a contar cuánto arroz tienes en una plantación de arroz. It is better if you count, for example, bags, for example, kilograms and so on, but not rice by rice. That's the reason why it is uncountable. Not only because it is super hard to count, but also because you don't have a plural form. So this happens not only with rice, also with different grains. Con los granos en general son no contables, okay? Keep it in mind, that's another tip for you. Let's continue. Okay, once again, we have a problem. What is the meaning of lugash? Who can tell me? Equipaje. Equipaje. 
Lugash, ekipahe. Mm, what happened here, guys? It is uncountable because, first of all, tell me, do you have a plural form for Lugash? No. ¿Tienen forma plural? No. Not even in Spanish. En español, tú no vas y dices, ¿en dónde, está, ¿en dónde están mis equipajes? Tú no dices eso. ¿En dónde está mi equipaje? Singular. Can you see? Because Lugash is like the huge concept. Es equipaje, but you can count the general concept. First of all, you don't have a plural form. And second, this is a general concept. The concept of Lugash, el concepto de equipaje, is that you have, for example, some bags and some things that you are going to take and you are going to bring somewhere else. Yeah? But Lugash as general concept is uncountable. You can count, for example, suitcases. Puedes contar maletas, you can count bags, you can count, uh, like, um, I don't know, things like that. Like purses and so on. But Lugash in general, no. No, let's play, let's play. You can do it, we are learning. Here we go, continue. Okay, look at this. Very good. In this case, suitcase is countable. As I told you guys, Lugash is not countable, like the general concept, but suitcase, it is possible to be count. Why, guys? Because you are going to uh, be talking about, like, literally, like, las maletas. So, one suitcase, and in this case, you have a plural form, suitcases. Can you see? So, suitcase can be count. Let's continue. Information, guys. Think about information, general concepts. Okay, very good in this case, guys. Information is uncountable. It is not possible to count the information, okay? It is not possible to count information. Let's continue. Okay, divided decisions. In this case, guys, newspaper is countable. First of all, yeah, it is related with information, but the newspaper is the place where you have the information. So there is possible to count it, and also you have a plural form for this. You can say one newspaper, two newspapers. Can you see? So when you have plural forms, don't forget, it is countable. Let's continue with the next one. Okay, guys, very good. In this case, news is uncountable. Let me ask you something. Do you have a singular form for news? In English, it is not like in Spanish that you say noticia, una noticia, dos noticias. It is not like that. In English, you don't have a singular form for news. In singular is a news, in plural, news. Why? Because if you say new, what are you saying? If I just say new, what am I saying? This is a new. En lugar de estar diciendo esto es una noticia, estoy diciendo esto es nuevo. New, nuevo. 
So first of all, you don't have a singular form. And that's the first tip that you must take into account. Non-countable. Let's continue. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, in this case, guys, just five of you answered this in a good way. What happened with soap, guys? It is uncountable. You can count, for example, bars of soap. Or you can count, I don't know, like pieces of these. But in general, the substance is not possible to count. Imagine, for example, how are you going to count the soap that is in the liquid state? You can't. And also think about it. Do you have plural form for this? No. So it is not possible to count soap, okay? It is uncountable because it is a chemical substance. You can count the pieces of this, but not in general. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. You can do it. This is super interesting. Be careful with this one. Bread. Uncountable or countable. Bread. Oh my God, I have like half and half, okay. What happened with bread? Actually, it is uncountable, okay. It is not like in Spanish in this case. Tú en inglés no tienes una forma plural. Tú no dices bread. No, señores, this bread. You can count, for example, uh, pieces of bread, uh, loaves of bread, slices of bread, como el pedazo de pan y así. Cuentas eso. But in general, bread, it is not possible to count. And even if you think about this in Colombia, you don't go to the store and say, Hola, me da por favor dos mil de panes? No, you just have to say like the pan in singular. So keep it in mind and rem remind this forever. Bread is uncountable. Let's continue. Okay, the next one is dress. Is it possible to count it? For example, is it possible to count the amount of this that you have in your wardrobe? Very good. Actually, dress is countable. What is the plural form of dress? Who can tell me? The plural form of dress. Dresses. Dresses. So you can use numbers, you can count the amount. You can say, I have five beautiful dresses. So yeah, countable, very good. Let's continue. Money. Look at this one. Money. Countable or uncountable? What do you say? What do you think? Money. Okay, babies, half and a half. I am going to explain something with money. Money is uncountable. It is not possible to count money, but I am going to explain you why. Let's think about uh, the money that we have. Let's think about it. Let's think about money as concept. Uh, and let's imagine that you have two money bills. Do you know what is the meaning of money bill? I am going to explain. Les voy a explicar por qué el dinero no es contable. Do you know what is the meaning of money bill? For example, if I say... Uh, no, no es dinero. If I say a 10,000 money bill. Es, es billete. Money bill, di, billete. And coins, monedas. So, in the case of money, you can count the money bills and you can count the... the the coins, puedes contar los billetes y puedes contar las monedas. Pero el concepto dinero en general no lo podemos contar, amores. I am going to give you an example to make it easier to understand. Think about it. 
Let's imagine that I have two money bills of 10,000 pesos. Tengo dos billetes de 10 mil pesos. How much money do I have? Si tengo dos billetes de 10 mil, ¿cuánto dinero tengo? Who can tell me? I have two. Two money bills of 10,000. Open your microphones and tell me. ¿Cuánto tengo? Si tengo dos billetes de 10 mil, ¿cuánto dinero tengo en total? Veinte mil, ok, open your microphone, talk to me. <coughs> ok, yes, if I have uh, two money bills of ten thousand, I have twenty thousand pesos. What happened, guys, if I have four money bills of five thousand pesos? ¿Qué pasa si en lugar de esos dos de diez mil tengo cuatro billetes de cinco mil? ¿Cuánto dinero tengo? How much money do I have? If I have four money bill of 5,000 pesos. Who can tell me? Five plus five plus five plus five. What's the answer? 20,000. 20,000. So this is my question for you. Is it different to have two bills of 10,000 than having four bills of 5,000? Did the final amount change? ¿Me cambió el dinero final o la cantidad de dinero que tengo? ¿O el hecho de tener dos de billetes de 10 o cuatro de 5 cambia el valor de que sean 20 mil pesos en total? Yes or no? What do you think? No. Very good, Mariana. For that reason, money is non-countable. Because you may have 20,000 pesos, pesos with uh, 20 bills, or you may have the same 20,000 pesos just with, what, with one bill. So, you can count money bills, you can count coins, monedas, but money in general, the concept money is not countable. It's non-countable. Let's continue. So here you have the thing that we were talking about. Coin, countable or uncountable. Very good guys, there you have it. You can count coin. Actually the plural form is coins. Let's continue. Next one. Advice. Think about this. Advice. General concept. Can you count this? Can you count an advice? Very good. Advice. Non countable. Uncountable thing. Let's continue. The next one. Radiation. Guys, think about radiation. Is it possible to count radiation? Yes or no? Very good, guys. Perfect. Uncountable. The next one, mathematics, countable or uncountable, what do you think? Mathematics, go ahead, you can do it. Actually, it is uncountable. Mathematics is a science, guys, the science of studying the numbers. But it is not possible to count a science. You can count science. You just know that this is the concept of, the, of a huge things that are part of something. So mathematics is non-countable. And actually, you don't have a singular form. You can say mathematic. 
That's another thing. Let's continue. Almost finished. Number. What do you think? Number. Countable or uncountable? Actually, it is countable, guys. From all of the things that we have, numbers are super countable. Because actually, you are going to know that something is countable when you can use numbers with it. So, numbers, countable. Number, numbers. You have a plural form. Tienen forma plural. So, let's continue. Science. Countable, uncountable. Wow, very good. It is uncountable. Perfect. It is not possible to count science. The next one. Almost finished. Sugar. What about sugar? Okay, so the major part of the group answer in a good way. It is uncountable. Don't forget, babies, you can take like part by part of sugar. You don't have a plural form neither. And you can count, for example, kilograms of sugar, but not sugar. Go ahead. Children. Countable or uncountable? Oh, perfect. Very good. Children. This is the plural form, actually. El simple hecho de que tengas tu forma plural ya te dice es contable. What is the singular form of children? Who can tell me? Child. Child. Perfect. And let's go with the last one. This is the last one. Work. Think about work. Countable or uncountable. Perfect! Uncountable, guys. It is not possible to count work. You can count, for example, jobs, like trabajos, like I have three jobs, but work, like the amount of work that you have to do or that something requires, is not possible to count. Very good! So we are going to check our podium and then we are going to attack the grammar explanation. So on the third place, we have Gabby. On the second place, we have Sophie, and on the first place, we have Juan Camilo. So, very good, guys. Great, great job. So, let's continue. Okay, guys. Now that we have activated our prior, uh, our prior knowledge, we are going to begin talking about countable and uncountable nouns. So here we go. Let's begin with the countable ones. Uh, okay. Oh no, something happened in the last part of this slide. Something is missing, but I, I will tell you. Okay, Ana Sofia, can you please help me reading this first slide, baby? Um, yes, teacher. Countable nouns. Um, countable nouns are things that we can count. Countable nouns have a plural form. We can use a. We can a, use a. a. Yeah, that is the part. I don't know. I guess that they must change something, but the last part says this. Because I need you to take notes. Don't forget, taking notes is important. Okay? We can use a or an with them. That's the last part. We can use a or an with them. What is the meaning of a, an? What is that? What is the meaning of that? It is exactly the same meaning. What is that? If I say an elephant, what am I saying? If I say an airplane, an apple, 
a river. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? What am I saying? Or what is the meaning of a? A an. What is the meaning of that? Un. Very good. Un una. Perfect. It is a representing just one thing. Okay. In the case of countable nouns, guys, those are things as we were saying, things that we can count, and you can use a an with this. When do I use a? When do I use an? We are going to use a when we have the noun beginning by consonant, okay? And we are going to use an when we have the noun beginning by a vowel. For example, you can say an apple. Si ven que apple comienza por una vocal, that's the reason why I am going to use an. Yo no puedo decir a apple porque la pronunciación es muy rara. Or no puedo decir a elephant. Can you see? Because there is nothing making the link. No hay nada como haciendo ese link entre una vocal y la otra. So, when you have a noun, when you have a subject that begins with vowel, you are going to use an. When you have something that begins by consonant, you are going to use a. For example, a river. A hen. Can you see? Questions up to this point? So let's take a look of this. What did you have in this plate? What is that? Guys, what did you have in the plate? What are you what are you what are you looking at? What is that? A banana. A banana. And a strawberry and blueberries. Perfect. Is this countable or uncountable, baby? What do you think? Are banana is this banana countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Because in this case you can say this is a banana or if you have more you can say I have bananas. Can you see? Countable or I have five bananas. is countable. What about the strawberry? Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable because you can also say one strawberry, a strawberry or you can say three strawberries. And finally, the blueberries are also countable. In this case, you have two, two strawberries. But if you have one, you can say, I have a strawberry. Or, I like strawberries. Can you see? You have singular and plural form. We are going to check some other examples. So, example number one. Look at this one. There are five tomatoes. It could be one, it could be ten, but this is something that you can count. There are five tomatoes, I have one tomato, I like tomatoes, my mother needs uh, three tomatoes. Can you see? Look at this tip, I don't tip más. If you can use numbers with, na with the nouns, that means that that is countable. Si puedes poner un número al lado de ese noun que tienes, de ese sujeto, significa que es contable. Si tú puedes decir cinco botellas, cuatro tomates, así. Si lo puedes decir con números, es contable. Let's check another example. Look at this one. I have a pen. In this case, pen is countable, but I am saying this in a singular way. I have a pen. Look at this. I am using a. Can you see? Because the next word begins with p. Puse la A porque la siguiente va a empezar con una consonante. I have a pen. Who can give me an example with pen but in plural? Who can do it? Tell me the same but in plural. Who can do it? Maybe Isa. Isabella, attack. Tell me the same but in plural. How can you say it? Go ahead, Isa. Instead of saying, I have a pen, put a number. Give it a, give it a number. Isa, can you hear me? Okay, then Camilo. Camilo, give me the same example, but in plural. In plural, uh, I have... 
and thirty pence. I have thirty pence. Perfect. If you realize, babies, when we include the amount, when we include the number, we don't have to use a. Cuando ya le ponemos un número, pues como va a estar en plural, ya no vamos a usar a, porque a significa que es solo uno solito. Okay? Very good, Cami. Let's check out another example. For example, this one. I have three siblings. What is the meaning of sibling? What is the meaning of that word? I have three siblings. What is that? Hermanos. Or it can be, for example, gemelo, mellizo, yeah? Three siblings. Very good. Or you can say, I have a sibling. Tengo uno solo. And let's check out the last example. Look at this one. There is an elephant. In this photo, I just have one elephant. And can you see, I am using an because the next word, the noun, is beginning with vowel. Por eso utilizo an, un elefante, porque mi noun, mi sujeto, que en este caso es el elefante, está empezando en vocal. So, babies, questions up to this point? Questions up to this point about countable nouns? Okay, let's continue then. I am going to give you 30 seconds to take notes, and then we are going to continue. Okay, we are going to continue. I guess that you took notes. So, now that you know a bit, a bit about countable nouns, let's talk about uncountable nouns. So, Gabi, can you please help me reading this slide? Yeah. Um, uncountable nouns. They are things that we can count. They usually do not have plural form, and we can use a or an with them. Thank you. So, look at this. With uncountable nouns, guys, uh, first of all, you are going to recognize this because they don't have a plural form, as I was telling you in the previous exercise. If you don't have a plural form or a singular form, just the plural, like in the example of, like in the case of Niels, um, that means that it is uncountable. You can count it. And also, guys, it is possible that we are not going to use a and with them because you can't use numbers with uncountable things. No vas a usar ni el a ni el an porque, como les decía, eso significa que tiene solo uno. Pero como no lo puedes contar, no puedes decir tengo, tengo un sentimiento, tengo una emoción. No, I have emotion, estoy emocionado o algo así, but you can count it, you can count it. So, I am going to show you some examples, in this case, of countable and uncountable nouns, specifically with food, because, of course, we have countable and uncountables with something else, like feelings, emotions, and so on, but I am going to show you now some examples with food. However, you have 15 minutes, to, uh, minutes, no, 15 seconds, to take notes of this slide of uncountable nouns. Go ahead, babies, take notes of it. Oh, 
Okay, my dears. So, don't forget, uncountable, you can count it. No plural form, not used with A or N. Let's take a look of these examples. Here you have a list of food, especially with food, because that's the main topic of this week, uh, of food that is countable and uncountable. So let's begin with the countable one. Okay. Countable food. So you can say bun, buns, sandwich. How is the plural form of sandwich? How is the plural form of sandwich, babies? Don't be quiet. What is the plural form of sandwich? Sandwich. Sandwiches. This is something for you to know. If this finish, for example, in CH, SH, and so on, you have to put ES. Si les terminan CH, SH, así, la forma plural les va a terminar like this, with ES. So, sandwich, sandwiches, apple, apples, orange, oranges, as you can see, fruits are countable, like, not the concept, but burger, burgers, fries, eggs, salads, vegetables, in general, vegetables are countable, you can say vegetables, you can say vegetables, but here you have some examples, for example, cookie, cookies, potato, potatoes, Look at vegetables, tomato, tomatoes, carrot, carrots. You have the possibility to say hot dog or hot dogs. You can count it as well as candies, for example, in Halloween. As some of you, or I don't know if you still are still going, but when you did it, uh, usually you arrive home to count how many candies you have. Uh, olives, olive, olives, peanuts. What is the meaning of peanuts? What is peanuts? Look at them. The image. What is a peanut? Okay, guys. No? What is peanut? Look at the image. What is a peanut? No one? Cacahuates or maní. Okay, very good, Mariana. Thank you. So, pancake or pancakes, onion, onions, watermelon, watermelons, peas, grapes, and cherries. What happened with uncountable things? First of all, you have bread. I mean, no matter what, you have bread. Don't forget, bread is not uncountable. In the case of fruit, it is not like fruit by fruit, not individual, but the general concept of fruit. So, it is not countable. What about juice? I told you, do you remember juice? What is the meaning of juice, guys? Do you know it? What is the meaning of juice? Hugo. Hugo, perfect. And as I told you, um, as I told you, guys, all the liquid things, todas las cosas que están en estado líquido son no contables. Keep it in mind. Then we have meat, rice, cereal, don't forget, granos y así, no contables, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour, we have salt, soup, tea, cottage cheese. In this case, the cottage cheese in Spanish is like el queso para untarlo, ¿han visto? So that kind of cheese is not countable. Pasta, honey, water, you can count the glass of water, but you can count the water instead. Cheese, like in general, butter, seafood, and mustard. Those are just some examples, guys, that um, you have of countable and uncountable notes. Okay? Questions up to this point, guys? Nope. Okay, we are going to continue then. Okay. I am going to give you an example of some useful words, okay? Useful words are words that you can use, for example, if you want to talk about the amount of an uncountable noun. Son las causas, por ejemplo, si vas a hablar, quieres hablar de la cantidad de agua que tienes, pero tú sabes que para hablar de agua, pues no puedes hablar de cantidades porque no es contable. In that case, you are going to use useful words. For example, this, look at this. Milk. Instead of saying milk, you can say a jar of milk. 
to talk about the amount. How much milk do you have? Oh, I have a jar of, of milk. Me puedes decir, oh, I have two milks, porque no está bien. Oh, tengo una jarra de leche, y así como quedas la idea de la cantidad que tienes. Or, for example, pizza. Pizza is, is uncountable. So, instead of saying, I have three pizzas, because pizzas is not wood, it doesn't exist, you can say, I have a slice of pizza. I have three slices of pizza, like pieces of pizza, pedazos de pizza, tajadas de pizza, okay? Useful words, and you can continue. This is just to tell you that if you want to talk about amount, the amount of an, uh, of an uncountable noun, you can include a useful word like jar, bottles, glasses, package, and so on. I am going to show you some examples by using useful words. Look at this. The first one, look at this one. Do you have a bottle of water? As you know that you can count uh, water, you are going to include bottle in order to talk about the amount. You also have this one, a can of soda. What is the meaning of can? Look at the image. A can of soda. What is the meaning of can? Lata. Lata. Very good. A can of soda. Una lata de soda. I can count soda, but I can count cans. And finally, for example, look at this. A package of snacks. Snacks is a snacks in singular and plural. So, paquetes. Puedes contar los paquetes. You don't know how many... Tú sabes cuántas papitas tienes ahí adentro. Pero, puedes contar el paquete. Porque en todos los paquetes no va a venir la misma cantidad de papitas. ¿Ok? So, those are useful words, babies. Questions up to this point? No? Ok. And finally, just by this slide, because we are going to continue with the next part, I just want you to introduce you to the world of any and some. First of all, look at this. We are going to use any in negative sentences and we are going to use some in affirmative sentences. This is to talk about amount. This is to talk about quantity. Váyanse con esta idea por el momento. Take notes of this. And we are going to continue, okay? Keep it in mind. Any and some. Questions of countable and uncountable nines up to this point, guys? Yes, Mariana. But if you want, please open your microphone. It's better. Do you have microphone, baby? Maybe not. Okay, send me your question here and I'll answer it. Or your partners take notes. Countable and uncountable nouns, guys, are super easy. Because it's just the, the ability to be able to identify the things that you can and the things that you can count, okay? Uh, it's also identifying, for example, when to use a, when to use an, but that is easy to recognize with consonants and vowels. However, we are going to begin talking right now of another asp aspect, an extra aspect of countable and uncountable nouns that I need you to take into account. Oh, yeah, Mariana, for example, when you have a, a sentence in plural, uh, I am going to give you the example in singular and in plural. Singular. You can say, I have an apple. I utilize an, porque mira que apple comienza con vocal. So, I have an apple. Pero si la vas a hacer en plural, ya quieres decir dos manzanas, you, ya no vas a usar an, porque sean significa que tienes una sola. Tengo una manzana. 
Entonces, ¿con qué reemplazas el an? Pues con el número de manzanas que tienes. Instead of saying I have an apple, you can say I have two apples. ¿Ok? No vas a usar el an y el an, sino que vas a usar el número, la cantidad que tienes, siempre y cuando sea contable. ¿Ok? Ok, guys. We are going to continue with the next part. As I was telling you guys, uh, there is something that you need to know, uh, some extra information that I am going to give you today, you know. Now, you are going to begin receiving like more information about easy topics. And we are going to talk about some, any, much, many, a lot of, a few, a little. These are some words. We are going to be working with these words this week and the next one because this is called quantifiers. Uh, but this is part of countable and uncountable nouns. Es parte de los contables y de los no contables. But this is to talk about specifically quantities, specifically amounts, para hablar específicamente de cantidades y de, de cantidades. So let's begin with, with two of the most important, some and any. Here we go. Let's begin with some. So, uh, Jeronimo, can you please help me reading the first part of this slide, baby? Me? Yeah. Um, okay. We use some with and countable nouns and with plural countable nouns in affirmative sentences. Thank you. So, look at this. First of all, you need to know these babies. Some can be used with countable and with uncountable nouns, with both. And that's okay. There is no problem with that. Lo puedes usar con ambos, contables y no contables, y es perfecto. But what happened? With uncountable nouns, well, every single kind of uncountable noun. In the case of countable, you have to pay attention because, first of all, you must use it with the plural form. Cuando estás usándolo con contables, tienes que utilizarlo con la forma plural. ¿Por qué? Porque, ¿qué significa some? What is the meaning of some? Es como algunos. Can you see? So, you are going to use it in countable and uncountable. In the case of countable, it must be in plural. And just in affirmative sentences, guys. Affirmative. Okay? Keep it in mind. Let's check some examples. For example, newspapers. Newspapers is countable. You can say newspaper or newspapers. So, you can say... I have some newspapers. Yo tengo algunos periódicos. Or, if you are using it, for example, with money that is uncountable, you can say, I have some money. Es como, tengo algo de dinero. Do you need it? Like, yeah? Let's check some other examples. There are some shoes. Look at this. I am using some but I am using the countable noun in the plural form. Lo estoy usando en la forma plural, ¿ok? There are some shoes. There is some time. ¿Ok? Look at this. As this is non-countable time, you are using this. Pero igual, estoy usando el some. Tengo o oh, hay algunos zapatos. Hay algo de tiempo. And finally, I want you to give me an example by using some and the two uh, the two nouns that I have here. Let's go with books. Who can give me an example by using some and the noun books? Who wants to do it? I will let you decide or I will select someone. Who can give me an example? Maybe, maybe... Mateo. Give me an example, please. By using some... And, and, books. Okay. and books, attack. Uh, in my grandpa's house, there are some old books. Perfect. There are some old books. Perfect. And what about food? Who can give me an example by using food? Maybe Samuel. Samu, can you hear me, baby? Okay, maybe not. Sofia Orguela, please give me an example by using some and food. Sofia. 
Sophie, can you hear me? Oh my god, what's going on with you? Then Gabby, please give me an example by using some and foot. Um, in my friend's house, there there are some food, or there is there are some food. That is that is because it is uncountable, so you are going to use this like singular. Ah, there is there is some food. Perfect. There is some food. Okay, guys. So don't forget that you can use it with countable and uncountable, countables with plural, and just in affirmative sentences. Questions about the use of some? Okay, so 15 seconds to take notes and then we are going to continue. Okay, ready babies or no jet? No jet, okay, don't worry. Take some extra minutes. Not minutes, but seconds. Ready? Okay, let's continue then. That is some. Now let's talk a bit about any. Any is other thing, super important, super important, because this is the opposite of some. If some is to talk about a certain uh, like amount of this, any is to talk about the opposite, like you don't have it, algo que no tienes, no hay. So, Michelle, princess, can you please help me reading the first part of the slide? Yes, teacher. If we use any with incountable nouns and with plural countable nouns in negative uh, statements and questions. Thank you. So, look at this. Once again, this is a word that we can use with countable and uncountable nouns. You can use it with both, yeah? But you are going to use it to talk about negative statements, negative sentences, and to make questions, okay? Once again, in the case of countable nouns, you have to take to have it in plural. Lo tienes en plural porque estás hablando de cantidades. Okay, so let's check the examples. I have coffee that is uncountable and I have books that is countable. So look at this. I don't have any money or I haven't drink any coffee. Or you can say, uh, there aren't any books. There aren't any carrots. Can you see? I am using any to say that I don't have it. Para decir, no hay ninguna zanahoria. No tengo nada de dinero. No he tomado nada de café hoy. No hay. No ha pasado. ¿Ok? But pay attention to this. Si se dan cuenta, amores, ustedes tienen una palabrita que está negando antes de utilizar el any. En las oraciones negativas siempre tienes que tener algo en negativo antes de utilizar el any. No me puedes poner solo there are any carrots. Porque no tiene sentido. Porque no, te estás diciendo hay ninguna zanahoria. Tienes que decirlo en negativo. No hay ninguna zanahoria. O por ejemplo, I don't have any money. No puedes decir I have any money. Porque estás diciendo yo tengo nada de dinero. So, it is not okay. Tienes que decir, yo no lo tengo. So, I don't have it. I haven't drink any coffee. Yo no he tomado nada de café. 
Can you see? Siempre en negativo, amores, tienen que tener algo en, en, en negativo antes. Un aren't, isn't, haven't, hasn't, don't, didn't. Y luego si ponen el any. Entonces la palabra en negativo, el auxiliar en negativo, el verbo en negativo, lo que usted está usando en negativo. Y luego si le pones el any. ¿Ok? So we are going to make an example. Let's try to make an example together. Let's make two examples, one with water and the other one with apples. One countable, one uncountable. So let's go with water. Uh, Sara, can you please help me doing an example by using any and with the word water? Go ahead, princess, you can do it. By using any and the word water, you can take into account the examples that you have here. It can be a guide. Go, Sarah, you can do it. Don't be shy. Uh, I don't know. I can hear you in a good way. No, I can hear you in a good way. Oh, no. Please send me your example through the chat, okay, baby? And will you send me your example through the chat? I want someone else to do it. For example, let me check. Okay, Sarah is saying, there aren't any water in the fridge. Actually, is there isn't. ¿Listo? Acuérdense, amores, que cuando son countable, van a, en lugar de aren, van a utilizar isn't. ¿Por qué? Porque es como si lo tuvieses en singular. Solo lo tienes la forma singular. There isn't any water. No hay agua. El ar es para el plural. ¿Listo? So, there isn't any water in the fridge. Very good, Sara. There isn't any water on the fridge. And now, Juan Camilo. Cami, can you please help me with an example by using any... And the word apples? Uh, there, there aren't any apples in the in my house. There aren't any apples in my house. You can say it in that way, very good. Or you can say I haven't eaten any apples today. Or yeah, something like that. The thing is that you have to use any in negative, okay? And look at this. You can say there isn't any time, food, sugar. Can you see? Si se dan cuenta que para los que son no contables utilizamos isn't, so isn't. Time, food, sugar, and so on. So questions about any babies? Questions up to this point? Okay, I am going to give you some seconds to take notes of this part. Okay, let me see your example, Mari. Yes, you can you can do it. Yes, maybe you can do it. You can do it, but be careful because you are using have, so instead of drunk is drunk. So you can say I have not drunk any glass of water you can do it yes however it will be better pero lo puedes hacer es porque estás usando o sea la que se está tomando es el water listo porque tienes un no contable ahí pero si fueras a, a hacerlo un poquito mejor puedes decir I have not drunk any glasses of water glasses of water in plural because in that way you are going to fulfill the rule. Countable nouns in the plural way. So I have not drunk any glass of water or I haven't drunk any glasses of water. Okay, ready babies, can we continue?
Okay, let's continue then. Also, guys, uh, here you have some other examples to make it easier. These examples are of questions. So look at this. Are there any books? As you can see, I don't have anything in negative here. It is not necessary because this is not negative. This is a question. So you can say, are there any books? Or you can say, aren't there any books? It's good too. Or, for example, if you are using some, you can say, do you need some coffee? In affirmative. Do you need some coffee? Okay? These are just some other examples. So let's continue. Now let's talk a bit about much, many, and a lot of to talk about big quantities, babies. Okay? When you have a, qu a, a quantity of something, a lot of something, you can use much, many, and a lot of. What is the meaning of a lot of? What is that? Who can tell me what is the meaning of a lot of? No one, you can do it. A lot of, what is that? If I say I have a lot of friends, what am I saying? I have a lot of friends. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Tengo muchos amigos. I have a lot of friends. Tengo muchos amigos. So, you are going to use a lot of para hablar de mucho de algo. Es incluso más cantidad que much y many. Much and many are like uh, mucho. Literalmente es mucho. Yeah? And those are synonyms. But in the case of a lot of is when you have like huge, a huge amount of something, okay? Let's take a look of this. Much and many guys are like synonyms, but the difference is that you use much with something and many with something. Let's take a look of the examples. I have much water, many people, many Pokemons, much fun. So what is the difference between much and many by taking into account these examples? What difference can you see there in the examples that I gave you? Who can tell me? For example, Gabby, what do you see there? What may be the difference between much and many? Um, I think um, many um, varios, por decirlo así, y much es de mucho. I think. The, the, no, actually the meaning is the same. El significado es el mismo, mucho. But take a look of the examples, Gaby. Much water, much fun. Many people, many Pokemons. So what's the difference between much and many? Um, um, many is uh, represent much than... No? Okay. Don't worry. You can do it, you can do it. No? No idea? No. Okay, don't worry. Um, Mateo, what's the difference between much and many? That much is for uh, uncountables and many for countables. That's it. The huge difference, guys, the meaning is exactly the same. No es que uno sea más que el otro, que uno represente más. No, 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 no. The difference is that you are going to use much with uncountable nouns and many with countable nouns. That's the difference. It's exactly the same, but much goes with, uh, with uncountable and many goes with countable. Okay? That's the difference. But the meaning is the same. So let's take a look of some examples. How much sugar do you have? So let's take a look of sugar. Countable or uncountable? Sugar. Who can tell me? Uncountable. Uncountable. For that reason, you are using much. How much sugar do you have? ¿Cuánto azúcar tienes? What happened with this one? How many people eat avocado? 
In this case, it's many because people is countable. You can say five, you can say five people, ten people, a hundred people. So it is countable. How much with uncountable? How many with countable? For example, look at this one. I don't have many apples. Miren que esta ya es una oración. Estas serán preguntas. En el caso de preguntas es how much, how many. En el caso de oraciones es simplemente much or many. So I don't have many apples. No tengo muchas manzanas. Many because apples is countable. Or look at this one. Do you need much coffee? Cuando quieres saber si alguien necesita mucho de algo. Do you need much coffee? Coffee is uncountable, so it goes with watch. I don't have much time. Yo no tengo mucho tiempo. But can you see? Va el much o el many y luego el noun. Y utilizas much o many dependiendo si es contable o no contable. Easy peasy. Questions about the use of much and many babies? And in the case of a lot of, en el caso de a lot of, It is even easier because you can use a lot of with countable and uncountable. Ese sí lo puedes usar con contables y con no contables. Tú puedes decir, uh, I have a lot of apples, or you can say, I have a lot of sugar. No hace distinción, ¿sí ves? En contables y no contables. I have a lot of Pokémons, I have a lot of water. So, you can use it with countable and uncountable. Questions up to this point, guys? Nope. So, some seconds to take notes and then we are going to continue. Okay, ready babies, can we continue? Did you take notes? No yet? Okay, some extra seconds, don't worry. Okay, ready babies? Can we continue? Yes, okay, perfect. Let's continue, guys. We also have some other words to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. In this case, it's a few and a little. So let's read this part. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so Isa, can you please help me reading the first part of this slide, baby? We use a few and a little to talk about small quantities. Thank you. So, look at this. Few and a little to talk about small quantities. Cuando quieres hablar de poquitas cosas, de cantidades pequeñitas, okay? So, look at this. A few and a little are synonyms. Es poco de esto, poquito. ¿Ok? A few and a little es poco. What's the difference? That a few is going to be used with 
countable nouns and a little is going to be used with uncountable nouns. So, once again, a few is going to be used with countable and a little is going to be used with uncountable. Okay? Let's take a look of, uh, of the examples. So, I meet a few people every day. So, people is countable. So, you can use a few. Conozco poquita gente todos los días. O un poco de gente todos los días. Few. Or you can say, I have a few friends at school. Tengo pocos amigos en el colegio. But once again, you are using friends and friends are countable. Okay? So, you are using a few. On the other hand, we have a little that is uncountable. So, let's take a look to the examples. You can say, I have a little time tonight. Tengo un poco de tiempo esta noche. But time is uncountable, so you have to use a little. No puedes decir, I have few time. Si tú dices, I have few time, es como, no, no está bien. I have little time. Porque little es con uncountable. Or you can say, there is a little paper in the printer. Hay un papel, o oh, hay poquito papel en la impresora. Once again, paper, it is, is not countable. It is not countable, okay? So, when you are using countable things, a few, uncountable things, a little, to talk about a small quantities, poquito de algo. Questions about a few and a little? These are just the concepts, don't worry. Son solo conceptos, pero no se afanen que en la práctica es donde los reforzamos y aprendemos a usarlo bien. Pero primero miremos la parte conceptual. So, questions about a few and the little babies? No? So, some seconds to take notes. Okay, guys, ready? Did you take notes? Or no yet? Tell me something. Are you ready to continue? Or no yet? Yes, perfect. Okay, guys. We are about to finish, don't worry, be happy. So let's finish with this. This is a short review to close the class for everyone because this is one of the things that you confuse the most. Many is used with countable nouns. Much is used with uncountable nouns. Keep it in mind, guys. Put a golden star there, highlight it. I don't know, but don't forget it. No se les olvide. Many lo usamos con contables, much lo usamos con no contables, ¿ok? So, now that you don't have questions, we are going to practice a bit. And we are going to begin with this exercise, ¿ok? In this exercise, what are we going to do? The idea is that we have to select the appropriate uh, word to complete. So, some, much, a lot of, a, uh, an, a, uh, any, many, okay? This is a short practice of the things that we are going to, that the things that we just 
work with it. Uh, but we are going to begin with this one, okay? So here we go, one by one. Let's begin. Todos vamos a participar, okay? If you want to answer the, the question, just raise your hand. Number one. Are there a space and empty shops in your village? How can you complete it? So much, a lot of. Are there a space, empty shops in your village? How can you complete it? Who can help me doing this exercise? No, one by one? Okay, let's begin with Anna. So, Anna, baby, how can you complete this one? Are there a space, empty shops in your village? How can you complete it? Um, uh, Let's check. Believe in yourself. In this case, it is not some. Why not? It is a question, so look at this. How can you do it? No, it's some. Try another one, Anna. Um, um, a lot of? Yes, it's a lot of. ¿Por qué? Look at this. Use a lot of with countable plural nouns like chops. Look at this. And uncountable nouns in positive, negative, and interrogative sentences. In this case, guys, is a lot of because we are talking about a huge amount. Estamos hablando de mucho. Are there a lot of empty shops in your village? So that's it. And this is a question. Remember, some is not usually used with that. Let's continue. Gabby, the next one. How a space people are coming to the party? How can you complete it? Some, much, many. Um... Um, <laughs> Look at this, you have people. Ah, okay. Match. Match, are you sure? No, no, many. Many, why many? Because many is used with countable nouns. Acuérdate que cuando es contable es many, cuando es no contable es much. En este caso, people es contable. Let's continue. Jerónimo, could I have a space orange? How can you complete it, Jero? An, a, n. An. An orange, very good. Could I have an orange? Perfect. Isa, the next one. Paula hasn't got a space money. How can you complete it? Many, much, a. Go ahead, Isa. Um, I think many. Look at this, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. What do you use with uncountable? Many or um, much? Much, much, much. Okay, don't forget about it. Don't get confused. Paula hasn't got much money. Uncountable. Let's continue. Geronimo. I read a space book last month. How can you complete it? A uh, and some. I read a book last month. Perfect. I read a book last month. The next one, Juan Camilo. We met a space interesting people at the party. How can you complete it? And any some. Um, um. And interesting people? Yes. Actually, no. Porque si tú estás diciendo people, no puedes utilizar an. Acuérdate que an significa uno solo. Pero people está en plural, mira, personas. ¿Cuál es la que usabas con plurales? Any. Con plurales. Acuérdate cuál usabas con plurales, que les dije que era importante. Some. Some. We met some interesting people at the party. So, with countable plural nouns, lo utilizas con contables, pero en plural. ¿Ok? Acuérdate que el any solo lo utilizas en negativo y en interrogativo. 
¿Listo? Si está en afirmativo, son. Let's continue, Mariana. I drink a space tea. Much, a lot of, many. How can you complete it, Mari? I drink a lot of, very good, Mariana. I drink a lot of tea, perfect. Let's continue. Number eight, Mateo. There aren't space hotels in this town. Many, much, or some. What do you say? Much. There aren't much, are you sure? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, much. No, it is not much. Some. Look at I this mean, carefully. Lee con cuidado. No te me lances a dar la respuesta. There aren't hotels in this town. But you have this in negative. Hotels in plural. So what is the answer? Some. Some? Yo dije que some se usaba para negativos o para qué era? No, solo es dicho many. Some is many, many. No te me confundas, ¿listo? Acuérdate, many lo usas con los que son contables. ¿Listo? No podías usar much porque es contable y no podías usar some porque tienes acá el negativo. La única opción era many. Ok, let's continue. Michelle, the next one, baby. How space milk do you want in your coffee? Much, many, or some. How can you complete this space? Look at the now that you have milk. So, Michelle, how can you complete it, baby? Much. Very good. Much. How much milk do you want in your coffee? Perfect, Michelle. Samuel, the next one. I haven't got a space lugash. How can you complete it, Samuel? Many, some, any. I haven't got any lugash. Okay, very good, perfect. Sara, the next one. I listened to a space music. How can you complete it? A much some. How can you do it, Sara? Can you hear me, baby? Okay, maybe not. Then, Sofia Arjuela, baby, how can you complete this one? I listen to a space music. How can you complete it, Sophie? Sophie. No, neither. Sofía Juela, are you there? Nope. So, Anna, it's your turn again, baby. How can you complete this one? I listen to a space music. Okay. I listen to a music. Now, take a look of this. Music, countable or non-countable, Anna? Uncountable. Entonces no puedes usar A porque es uncountable. Um, I listen to music. Much? No. Some. Some. ¿Por qué no puedes usar much? Porque no estás, no estás diciendo yo escuché mucha música, no estás hablando de cantidades. Estás hablando de algo de música, o sea, cantidad, pero no como numérica y así. Ok, and look at this. In this case, it's uncountable, but you can use some. The next one is going to be done by Gabby. So, Gabby, I didn't buy a pen. I bought a space hat for my mother. Uh, and some. Some. Um. Not really. Mira la primera parte. I didn't buy 
happened? I bought mm -hmm, hot. So. Um, you just have one option. Empieza por vocal o por consonante. Por consonante. Entonces. Uh, ah. Hey. I didn't buy a pen. I bought a hat for my mother. Compré un sombrero. Ok, Jerónimo, the next one. I haven't got my camera, so I can take space photographs. How can you complete it, Jero? Some, any, much. ¿Ya por Yes. Uh, so I can take some. Look at this. Entonces, any. any Be careful when you have negatives, guys Cuando es tan negativo en alguna parte No puedes utilizar some And finally The last one is going to be done by Isa Isa, she didn't eat much For lunch, only a space Apple Some and many What do you say, Isa? Um, I think <laughs> many. She didn't eat much for lunch only, and look at this. This uh -oh. is in, in singular. Uh, Remember that when you are uh, using many, it must be in plural, so. Only. Um, some. Lo mismo pasa. Mira, si pongo many no se puede porque no está en plural. Si pongo some no se puede porque some es con la forma en plural. Ella no comió y aparte some no lo puedes usar en negativo, acuérdate. Entonces, ¿qué te queda? An. Solo una manzana. No comió mucho, solo una manzana. Pilas con eso, amores. Some, many, así son con los plurales, pero fuera de eso, si tienes algo negativo en alguna parte de la oración, no puedes utilizar el some, ¿ok? So, questions up to this point, guys. And now you are going to practice on your own. So, look at this. I am going to send you the link of this exercise. And this is going to be individual practice, okay? The idea is that in these 20 minutes, you are going to uh, practice a bit. Oh, no, but I, I forgot something. You haven't finished yesterday, yesterday guide, right? Yes, teacher. You haven't finished yet. And I told you that I was going to give you time, right, guys? I forgot that. I'm yes. sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. So, we are going to do this exercise next class to practice. Lo vamos a hacer juntos la próxima clase para practicar, okay? But uh, now you are going to use this time to finish yesterday's activity. And the next class, we are going to keep practicing with countable and uncountable. Questions about it, guys? Questions about countable or uncountable?